So I went to pop the hood earlier and nothing happened. Um, as you can see, this has been disconnected from the mount. I must have done that when I was removing the air box. Uh, messed with it for a while, trying all different things, and ended up finding something that works perfectly. So I thought I would share. Well, first of all, what you're trying to do to release it is move this piece that way. And it moves real easy. You just got to get something on it and pop it. So that's what pops the hood when it's fully closed. I ended up using a long trim removal tool. And you see it's still hanging there. I thought I'd leave it there for reference so you could visualize it when I go underneath and show you how I did it. Here's the tool I used. It's a long trim removal tool. Uh, really, the longer the better because there's not a lot of room to stick your arm up in there. Here's the view on the left hand side from underneath. I move up in here and those silver lines are a oil cooler I installed so those were in the way. I also have a catch can up there that was right in the way and that made things difficult at first until I found this great way. Um, right in the center of the screen, let me see if I can focus it, you see the spring for the main hood release. Uh, I just got this tool and put it up in there. Got it around that spring. You need something that goes around the spring. Screwdriver will not work. You need something that can go around it. And just put it up there and slid it over. The one thing that you want to make sure is that you're to the left of the actual hood piece that comes in and locks. And these barbs, you want to get the most open trim panel tool that you have because you just get lucky and grab that little slider part and I had to face it this direction get it over the spring and twist it and then slide it over it popped right open once I had the right tool it literally took me about 20 seconds to pop the hood